Hey guys, I know it's been a little bit since I filmed, but I'm finally back with another video. And today's video is going to be cool because it's one of the first for me on this channel. And it's going to be a full face using first impressions. So that means it's just makeup I haven't used before or really hyped up makeup. So I'm super excited to use it. I've got some stuff from Morphe, Tarte, Maybelline, Urban Decay. So without further ado, let's just get into this video. Alright, so you guys can clearly see that I already have my brows done, and I used the Maybelline Total Temptation Brow Definer in the shade 310 Medium. It looks like this. This is a newer product from them, I believe. And we're just going to get started with the eyes first, because that is what I always start with. And for the eyes, for the first impression for me, is the Tartlet Toasted Palette by Tarte. Looks like this. Very, very pretty. It's very obviously a warm tone shadow palette. So I am super excited though to get into this and see what it has to offer. I've heard great things about it, about Tarte um, shadows in general. And I just use shape tape to find my eyes. And I'm gonna take a tapered blending brush and the shade S'more, which is right here, and put that all over my lid and in my crease. And then I'm gonna take the same brush in the shade Cashmere, put that on my crease. You get a lot of kick up from the shadows. From this palette, at least, I'm noticing, it's like a lot. You see it right there, right there. It's very pretty and it blends nice though, but you get a lot of kick up from them. So that's definitely something to watch. shade warmth and put that on the outer corner of my eye right there it looks really pretty I feel like um you do definitely have to tap your brush off like a lot because you're going to get too much color otherwise I think that it looks really nice and really pretty. Alright, so that's enough out of that palette. But I also have something from Urban Decay, and this is the Urban Decay X Kristen Leanne palette. Um, this is the Daydream eyeshadow palette, looks like this. All matte shades very very pretty I'm just gonna take the shade 212 which is this pink one and put that in the crease to blend those out and give this like a little bit of a pinky look to it oh that's really pretty really pretty it blends really nice with those other shadows from the Tarte palette. Looks really, really nice. Anyways, now I'm going to go back into that same Tarte palette and take like a shimmer shade all over the lid. And for this, I'm just going to use my finger in the shade Sunset and put that all over my eyelid. Pretty. 
I like it. I think it's pretty. But um, I do have a new eyeliner that I haven't used before, and this is by Ciate uh, London. They're Fierce Flicks eyeliner, and this is just black. So I'm just going to do that off camera because I think I'll be more successful at it. So I'll be right back. Alright guys, I am back, and as you can see, my liner smudged extremely badly, so I do not recommend that liner at all. Um, I'm going to come back to the lashes later, we're going to focus on the face now. This is the e.l.f. primer, um, it's alright, I don't have a new one to use, so I've been using that. But now I'm moving on to foundation, and this is the Huda Beauty foundation, and the shade Angel Food. I've used it a few times, I don't really know what I think of it yet. This one's too light for me, so I've been mixing it with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte in the shade 102 Shell Beige, which is way too dark for me. And I just mix them, and together they become a better um, shade for me because it is way too light with just um, Huda, and it's way too dark with just L'Oreal. So I just do like a couple of pumps of each, mix them out the back of my hand, I get a little bit of a better of a shade for me. I'm just going to dot this on my um, face using my finger and these are both really thick foundations and they cover a lot. I'm just going to blend that out with my Morphe Y6 which I've also had this throughout a month and I can say I love it and I totally recommend it. It's a really nice brush. It's like um, under $10 too I believe so I really recommend it doesn't give me any streakiness or anything uh, but you can see like it just covers really really well versus this and I'm not using too much product it can get a little bit cakey depending on how much product that you actually use so you do want to be careful with that because these are both for the most part really the Huda one's full coverage um, definitely not on how much you use. You can use like a drop in your entire face pretty much. Um, the L'Oreal one is full coverage, but you kind of have to build it up a little bit to make it like that. So it takes about two layers to get complete coverage from that. But they're both matte foundation. At least the Huda one doesn't say it's matte, I don't believe. But it is a nice, it is completely 100% matte. There's no doubt about that whatsoever. It is a matte foundation. But yeah, pretty much after every time I use this, these foundations together with this brush, I just have to wash it because you can see it was perfectly clean before I started. So I washed my brushes last night. But it's such a thick foundation that you just have to wash um, your brushes afterward. Which is kind of annoying. Sometimes you don't have to, but with these ones you have to. And then I like to go over that with a beauty sponge, just to make sure it's not too cakey. You can see like it's a little bit darker on my face than the rest of my body, but it's not too big of a deal because it's not too much darker. Just a pretty good match. And before I do um, any concealer or powder, I am going to do a highlighter. This is by Wet n Wild. Um, this is the Hello Halo Liquid Highlighter in the shade Holographic. I've heard a lot of mixed things about these um, little things. I got this one because it was the lightest one, and I'm pretty fair. And anyways, um, I'm just gonna put it on the tip of my beauty sponge and blend it out with that, and see how it looks. It's very purpley. Iridescent It's pretty. It's not my favorite thing, I don't think. Um, I don't know if I'll be reaching for it necessarily, like on a day to day basis when you just want a regular highlighter. I don't know if this is that something you would want for that. I probably 100% should have used this before my foundation, also, in case it breaks apart. So I'm going to hope that it doesn't. But it's pretty. I mean, I don't think I would use this on a day to day basis. It's pretty. Anyways, now we're going to do concealer. And the concealer I have just today is regular Tarte Shape Tape. Nothing new for my routine personally.
just been using this for my concealer and my beauty blender. And then I'm going to set my skin with the Cody Airspin powder. Um, I've used this for a little bit now too. A little bit goes a long way. I, I, I like it. I think it's one of my favorite powders I've tried. However, I do not like the smell of it at all. It makes me sick. So I really shouldn't be talking when I'm doing this when I don't inhale it. But I think the smell of this powder is terrible. And I have not heard that I know of anyone else complaining about that. And I'm shocked about it because this powder is so perfumey. It's such a strong scent. It's too much for me to handle at least. I don't recommend it just based on the scent. I recommend it because it does a really good job of setting your face makeup. Um, anyway, so I'm just going to bronze up the skin a little bit. This is regular bronzer I've been using. It's by Rimmel. Pretty good. I like it. Use it. Um, this is like the only bronzer I use because I don't um, own a lot of bronzers or contour things. So I just use this. This was cheap. It's very quick. Effective. Already done. Um, also, I have some blushes. These are all from Tarte. Um, I haven't really used any of these yet. I have three of them. They're all the Amazon and clay ones. I'm going to use the shade Ordinate today on a blush brush from Eco Tools. Let's see? That's pretty. It gives you a little bit of color. It's pretty. Okay, I like that. Um, yeah. I like the blush. The bronzer, obviously, I like. I use the bronzer pretty much every time I do. Pretty much every time I use bronzer. But now we have highlighter to get to. And this is um, something I've used for a little bit now. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. And this is the Sugar Glow Kit. Very, very pretty. I'm going to use this shade Butterscotch. Um, these come off lighter than you would think. Like, that looks dark, but it comes off lighter on the skin than you would think. See? It's very, very pretty. And this is a Morphe um, R36 brush, sorry. very very pretty you get a lot of shades and a lot of options so I like that a lot about this because I think that these shades honestly are very universal they're very pretty totally recommend it it's worth the money 110 percent anyways now we have one of the last things on our list before lips and that is mascara this is the Maybelline Pumped Up Colossal Volume Express Mascara. I just needed a new one, so I randomly picked this up from the drugstore. Haven't really used it that much. Um, but when I do, I like it a lot. Yeah, it's very, very, very pretty. And now I'm going to put on lashes off camera just because they're going to take forever. But these are the Ardell Wispy Lashes. I've been using these actually a lot now. And I really, really like them 100%. I definitely recommend. They're on sale for less than $2 at Meyer a couple of weeks ago when I got them. So I just had to get them. I use the dual black lash glue and just some tweezers to get them. So this isn't really a first impression it's because I've been using this gloss for a while, but this is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm Gloss. I don't wear lipstick, especially liquid lipstick, you guys know that. Because of my surgery, it's just uncomfortable. So glosses and chapsticks I like a lot, and this one is one of the most beautiful glosses I've ever seen. And it's really stunning. Um, but that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I also put my lashes on and for us to do lower lash line mascara, so I'm going to do that really quick. But that is just the end of the video. I don't have anything else to test out for you guys. 
hopefully you guys enjoyed it i did because i love testing out new products and this was definitely a different video for me because um I don't have the money to just go out and buy all the products and test them out just for the one video. I had to kind of buy them over time and just wait to film this video because I've never had time. So it's kind of hard not to just use the products. So I was really excited to do them because some of these were really pricey. I'm going to try to put all of the prices in um, like when I'm editing the video so you guys can see what costed what and where I got um, a specific product from so I hope you guys enjoyed it um, I did a little bit different with the camera so maybe you guys were able to see a little bit better than you used to be able to when you watched um, my videos and the lighting was a little bit better I hope that's all I really have for you guys and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and be sure to like comment subscribe and let me know if you guys want me to do more videos like this in the future because I would love to um, just maybe not one as expensive as this one. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.